it's Tuesday July the 28th 2020 arrived at East Kirkby it's 10 o'clock they've just opened it's quite a few people getting in already a uh, lot of them now are wearing masks now it's compulsory when you're inside shops to wear masks in England and Scotland I think Wales and Northern Ireland as well it's 10 o'clock and the lads will be having their tea break so I'll have a look round the wingtips to see what the progress is. I see they've got the ducting in for the cabling. This looks like the new sweep for the port wingtip. Morning John. This is the Martin CE250 turret which will be fitted to the Lancaster when it's ready for flying. This week they've fitted the Perspex Ballista. The turret was restored by Bob Mitchell and John Marshall East. They made a great job, it really looks good. And with a blister on top, it's something to be seen. The actual unit weighs around about 1,000 uh, pounds, which is quite heavy, and that's why they had to move the mid upper turret further forward to counterbalance the weight of the turret. Uh, the caption underneath it reads Martin CE 250-23A turret. The Martin CE 250 CE turret was the most widely used turret in World War II. The gun sight was gyro stabilised and could predict the deflection needed to make the bullets land on target. First fitted to the Mark 7 Lancaster in 1945, they had to be fitted further forward in the fuselage due to their increased weight. Armed with two, uh, armed with two 50 calibre machine guns, with 870 rounds of ammunition in boxes. Spare boxes of ammunition were stored in the aircraft fuselage. The total weight of the turret was just over 1,000 pounds. We've got the conduit in position, spends way on it tomorrow. That's good of you. So we've got the. So where we got it first? We've got the face of the cover plates. It's gone up the face of the. Oh, you've got that too riveted on now, is it? That's permanently on now. That yeah. yeah. That's the face of the bottom skins. Yeah. So we've got the uh, conduit running through. In yeah. position. Right to the up there. And is the gap between the uh, piping uh, instead of putting a joint on? I'm not 100% sure it's something to do with the wiring the sensor was just telling every one of these sections should have two P clips on it so that's got two P clips on it yeah that one there is one there and one there with two P clips on it and same at the bottom there's one there and one there so it's just a case of where you actually uh, where you P clip, P clip them really yeah oh it's coming on there and this is these are big rivets aren't they the blind rivets this is the the section where we've got these 316s i think a lot of it's for quick release yeah. so what you know you just have back the, uh, the yeah. rivets out we've got the uh across the top we've got the, the formation the formation oh, one yeah. there and the nav light got the two panels upon them 
Yeah. And we've got that ready to do the formation. So we've done the we've got the wood and uh well, we've got the wood wrong or not. Yes, we've got it here yeah. at the moment. Before we start marking it, we've got to lacquer it three times. So it had a coat last night before we left. Yeah. It's got another coat on now. Yeah. And then I'll get another coat on it tonight before we leave. You had to cut cut out here, did it? To the lower chip, it the down. The chippies did it. Yeah. That, that they sit on the on them two slots, the top of them two ribs. Yeah. There. Uh, sorry, yeah, intercostals. And there's two screws going there. That brings it down, and then that's your contour for the skins. And they got the contours them. right, is it? Yeah. And then that's it. These your two skins. They just start, start to overlap over that curve. Oh, I see, yeah. And you've got all your screws that will go in yeah. along there. And then there's this, what kids done before, I haven't done it's before. Tape, you know, this, this, is it? Yeah, this taping. I've yeah. not actually done it before, but it's. Uh, Heat shrink it, don't they? Is that what they do? Yeah. Well, you know more than me. Well, <laughs> I've seen them do it on the um, the two fins. Right, yeah. And Keith put the, it on the fin. That's right, yeah. To, get, to make it, otherwise it, it would buckle up there. So put heat in, shrinks it, and then. It yeah. also glues it on. I've seen, I've seen him doing it, but yeah. I've got to do it myself. Hey, that's good, isn't it? So yeah, you're really cracking on. So that should be, like I said, that should be in position tomorrow. We'll start yeah. doing that. Yeah. And we'll cut the skins to suit that size. Yeah. Oh, good. And what you're doing there, these are the... These are, these are the cover plates on the... There's one on there and... That, the, the, the old ones weren't too bad condition, but they've decided to make new and everything. So we've got, we've got a load of new ones. So we've got the two for this. There, there for yeah. that. These are only underneath, or these are the underneath cover plates. They don't have them on top side, do they? These two go underneath. Yeah. And then that's that's the door. You know, that's the yeah. one that they actually take off. You know. Yeah. To get access inside. Yeah. So. Oh, that's good. And, and then and then once Bob's give us the go ahead. He'll come, he'll come and inspect like the next panel up. He'll have a quick look inside all there and if he's happy with like, once Ben's got his wiring in there tomorrow, yeah. he'll, Bob will check this area here and this skin will go on, you know, this yeah. one. And then as... And you've as, still as got clear, this section, still, sorry, still right. got this section to do here when you get Yeah, we've, we've still got that skin ready, you know, it's there. That, that one in the blue tape. Yeah. It's, uh, it's ready to go on, but like I said, we can't get it on no. until we... Uh, I think we have decided we're going to chop this out, we're going to chop these. Yeah. Chop that in three places. Yeah, Keith said we're going to put Split a bracket it. on to hold it, so we can put it back in. That's a, yeah, put an angle on there too. Yeah. And what about your trailing edge still now? Who's on that? We've not got it yet. That's Are you going to put the old one back on for now or not? No. No. Not really that. Oh, no. no, they're going to put the weight for this one. It's uh, been milled, is it? It's been milled. It's an aluminium one, yeah. 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 But the one that was looking for a company with a ten foot. Yeah. Meant to do it. I'm going to have a lot. Yeah. And what about the leading edge? Because that needed reworking, didn't it? Yeah, the lad's coming in with that. He's, he's actually coming in to do that. Oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. When well, we'll, we'll we'll drill it off. But I think he's coming in to like position it, get his yeah. contour right, yeah. and then we'll do we'll do the the holes, obviously, drill yeah. it off. When will be coming in to do that? I don't know. Yeah. Oh. So we 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 haven't seen Bob for uh, Monday and Tuesday. Oh, so, yeah. But once Bob gets it, that's we know we know more about it. Yeah. He, he comes in Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So. Yeah. Oh, it's coming on now, isn't it? It's moving. Yeah. I suppose you got that riveted on. And is the formation lights? We're not on permanent. That's just no. so that we've got the console. You know, so that the wood match, matches up. Yeah. Uh, you got, you got the end. flow light. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so we screwed in, you can see the two holes. If I put the lamp on. You see the two holes underneath there. Mm -hmm. See the two under oh, there? Yeah, yeah. And, the, and two under that one. Yeah. They're the ones that screw into that. Yeah. You know, where them slots are made. Into the wood line. Yeah. And they'll I said they'll drag it down to the, the correct contour yeah. and that's when we'll uh, we'll get our mark. We can mark the skin off then. But that's where the formation lights will go now. Spend the running wires to them. And he's coming in tomorrow.
That's where the junction box goes on there. I think you've seen before, haven't you? Yeah. His junction box goes on there. And he's gonna run all the you just shrink his wires through and put them through all there. Yeah. Oh I think you've progressed pretty fast now. Yeah, it seems to be now. It should be only 